Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. We want to thank our newest patron. We want to say a huge thank you to Jose for his support. Thank you so much, Jose. As always, guys, please do make sure you, you are subscribed to all the channels, as each does have unique playlists, too, but you can watch everything over at Patreon. Now, here you have, in Manhattan, pro-Palestine protesters shutting down the road in direct action against the Democratic fundraiser, uh, which supposedly has netted them a record amount of money again, you know, when you look at the system that we have in place, it's absolutely insane that we accept it. Bribery is is just part of the system. It is everything that is upside down, twisted inside out, and, and just tr truly a, a, a tragedy and a travesty. But here they are uh, trying to shut down Manhattan you know, it, it's getting really testy out there. We saw a Paris uh, airport with just dozens and dozens of maybe hundreds of people fighting. Uh, again, when one migrant was uh, arrested and was going to be deported, it was going crazy. And here, this is over in in uh, Norway. So, you know, you have a group going to storm this ball game. It's it's getting there. You can feel it. The building up, the anger, the frustration, the anxiety. And then we have this. We have the FBI showing up to a woman's porch after she was posting stuff on Facebook. And, you know, they show up. They supposedly showed their IDs to her. She asked them to wait a second, and she came around the front so that the dogs uh, wouldn't be barking like crazy. And then she's videotaping them and asks for them to show their IDs, and they won't show their IDs then. They could just kept saying, no, we, we already showed you once, but they won't show their IDs for you and me to see. Um, and it was all about uh, posts that she did on Facebook. Now, this one says it was pro-Palestine. Uh, I've seen two others that said that it was pro-Biden Biden. or, or anti-Biden, anti I should say, anti-Biden. Um, so unclear, maybe just against Biden and uh, the Israeli policies regarding Gaza, which anybody with any sort of sanity would understand why here you have fire breaking out at the lincoln memorial in washington dc one person at least seriously uh injured and then over in brazil we have a skyscraper on fire as we were saying all the craziness is really all around the globe when you get down to it it's a mess and you can really feel it in the air too it's like pal palpable if that's the right word it's um yep. something that you can be that can be felt in the 3d i mean with your very own with your own body it's like a pressure cooker and it's just the heat is getting turned up and up and up and you know we're looking toward the eclipse as like a a trigger to see what's going to happen do i think things are going to happen that very day rarely they do um, but it is a very significant eclipse. A lot of people are watching. We've been waiting for years and years and years. So to me, it's natural that it's going to be all over the news and people are going to be talking about it and they're going to say this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But I, I think it's a change in the vibration. That's that's what I see is a change in the vibration. And I don't see that just only for this 3D level. I see that on other levels too. So it's not we're not the only ones worried about that vibrational change no but the guide said that we would be getting um upgrades yes. after after the eclipse to deal with that that which which we'll be facing which we're going to be facing a lot after the eclipse well we definitely will and and those who are really serious about your spirituality <clears throat> and your practice and and your energy, things of that nature, these can definitely be attained and they're going to be coming through our ancestors. So that's why I keep saying every, every chance I get, be hydrated during this eclipse. It's very important. It's very important for our uh, minds, bodies, spirit, and our future timelines. 
so if, if you notice, it says live on X, uh, Alex Jones, Total Solar Eclipse Special Report, Deep State Using Event to Test Federal Communications Takeover for Martial Law. Um, there's a lot coming down, and it's going to just kind of steamroll. I, I think it's just, again, hang on tight. And we've been talking about so many uh, things to prepare for for forever now, it feels like, um, as it's been about 14, 15 months uh, since we had gotten the information that it feels like the war will be coming. And this was the other one where it says anti-Biden social media posts. There you go. I had them out of order there, guys. Um, that the war is going to be coming to America's soil sometime in perhaps May or June. It really is. And it already is. We, we already know uh, there's all sorts of sabotage. There's sleeper cells galore in, in the millions, literally, probably, in state. And here you have, this is not a joke, Washington State has passed a law offering cash as incentive to report hate speech and bias via a 24-7 hate line <laughs> hate line hotline hate line yeah it's this is what the nazis did this is what the nazis did go ahead and tattle on people and and you'll be you know paid off look i'm i'm, I'm almost well words here operation paperclip is obviously something we could look for and say, well, we, we took a lot of them in after World War II, so did Soviet Union. But the reality is the control system, it's the same control system. It always has been. You know, it's, it's, it's about having us tattle on each other to a very, very high degree. And it's something that we need to take a look at. And yes, I'm sure that we irritate each other. You know, we're like brothers and sisters and rub each other the wrong way. But there needs to be like a line where people will not cross. It's like, okay, we need to understand that together this is a system that we all do not like so it's more like you know pulling together in that in that understanding of the greater common good for us and holding true to that so yeah we do you know irritate each other i mean it's normal people get on other people's nerves but there's got to be like a level if we want to get up and out of this there's got to be a level of okay that's the line i won't cross you know, when, when I think about this, it's the same thing with burning the witches. Uh, people that we, we now know it's a fact that people said certain people were witches just because they didn't like them or because they were their neighbors and maybe they had a run in with them. Maybe they wanted their property. Maybe they wanted their goat, their cow. Yeah, maybe they were jealous over things you know so people would report them as witches and and the catholic church would you know again kill people for being heretics and we had the inquisition this is what the system does it's always done this so you know it's going to keep doing what it does there's no originality there it's just you know little things change a little bit uh it's not necessarily witches uh at at this present time um, but it, it'll always be the next, um, the next scapegoat, the next one that they're going to pin the blame on. As you see a Russian uh, military jet going down, uh, this is over uh, Crimea. Multiple reports on this, and, and they're differing. Some say Russia shot its own jet down. Some say the Ukrainians took them down. It is escalating over there, if you haven't noticed. And, and you also have... Uh, the power structure, including uh, def Defense Secretary uh, Austin there, basically saying, you know, we got to stop him at Ukraine, even, you know, if it means NATO boots on the ground. And, of course, you know, France is leading the charge there with the modern-day Napoleon Macron. You know, it's, it's, again, a Rothschild's banker. What do we expect? Poland is has put into law everything they need to basically have a draft start and so here you go you know the poland's going to be starting to draft meanwhile you have draft dodging plaguing ukraine 
why would you want to, you know, why would you want to go and fight these wars that we know are completely orchestrated? They're so orchestrated. And it's so obvious to so many people what they're doing. Yet, you know, so much of humanity is still just munching down on the junk food and staying, you know, drugged up, uh, dumbed up by all the different things that can hit our intelligence and ability to think clearly. You know, the, the chances are, I think it might break down too quickly in the U.S. for um, for an immediate draft, but... I don't know what it's going to look like. Uh, if it, uh, that's going to be just something we'll have to see when we get there, but that might not be too far off. Um, and when we're talking about cognitive function, this is a purposeful attack on cognitive function, and, and there's a reason why people don't really think properly and clearly. Uh, there's all sorts of accidents. There was a a bus in in Africa that went off a bridge off a cliff and it killed like 40 something people today there was there's all these weird accidents going on besides this bridge uh that we're talk we've talked about and everybody's talking about a lot of people are not functioning clearly and there's many reasons for that many many reasons the CCP has mastered the remote towing technology, all the modern computerized electronics in the U.S., anything that has a computer chip, an airplane, a car, a yacht, or a boat, including smart home electronics, the CCP can hack and control them all. They can lock you into the, your own house until they come. Yes, we kid you not. Meanwhile, Senegal's new president will break off ties with France and establish closer ties with Russia. The power switch has really already happened. And this system is so anti-life. Oregon kills thousands of hatchery rainbow trout after discovering a parasite. They found the parasite. In order to, to stop the spread, uh, they killed 160,000 rainbow trout. The reality is they're, they're destroying our food system so they could control it. And there is a famine building. What's going on in Gaza now is such a crime against humanity. It, it, it truly is. There are people now starting to die of starvation in mass. They're dying of starvation. And this is so demonic, so satanic. You know, you, you can't find a more uh, demonically controlled entity uh, that's out there in the public than Netanyahu. He's as, that's as dark as they get. No, and you can really see what they're doing to the food supply, too. And, and they're just going nitpicking their way, or even in many cases, I'm sure that they're putting deliberately putting things in there to harm the food supply. Um, you know, it wasn't too long ago we had all a whole lot of, uh, it was like uh, farmers, cows. I don't know if it was dairy cows. I can't remember for sure. It was like 10,000 over like one fire. Somehow, boom, all of a sudden 10,000 are dead. And all of the other factories too. And now we have this. It's like, oh, there's a parasite. Well, we can't fix it. So we'll just kill everything. You know, they're doing this so deliberately. And you can feel it again. You can feel it's like the temperature is rising up, up and up. Yeah, and still over in Oregon, we have fish and wildlife experts saying quagga mussels are going to be catastrophic for fish and water systems. And the cost is going to be in the billions to remove them, thumb, thumbnail size mussels out of pipes. You can't make this stuff up. And there's so many ways uh, they can kill things, as you have, will killing 500,000 owls help similar species? This is out of the Sacramento Bee, a plan to shoot down half a million barrel owls in northwestern United States. Yet again, could ensure the continued existence of its close relative. This is how the system works. Well, we're going to have to protect this one. So that means there has to be a genocide of these other ones. Think about that on the human scale, because this is exactly what they do. 
uh, and and we were talking about consciousness. Let's let's listen to this very carefully. And you've looked at the data too. What are you finding? Well, the sewage treatment plant behind us takes in the waste of a half a million people, and when it can't cope with it, it chucks it straight out here. And in the marine life, just beneath beneath our feet, we're actually finding they're full of drugs. They're full of contraceptive pill, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication. Every single marine species that we've looked at so far is full of cocaine, which means this means all the population is full of that, all that stuff. No wonder people are so dense. I mean, seriously, this this is the reality because everybody's drugged up and they've done it purposely, purposely. This is what the system does. It makes tons of money making people dumb down so they could be easily manipulated. You know, and I got to say, even those, I mean, when you're looking at this, even those people that are doing their best to try to stay clean, they're, they're also getting affected. And, you know, this is exactly why Mike and I, we're on a pretty strict detox. We are just constantly detoxing because we know even if we're not trying to do anything bad, the system is bad. The water we bring in, the air that we breathe, like everything. And it just seems so daunting sometimes. But we keep going because it's that internal instinct that says cleanse 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 and that's that's what you want to listen for yeah absolutely and you know again you have to be mindful of what you take into your body because it not only fuels your cells but it re the it, the material that you take in replaces your cells there's different organs of the body that are replaced at regular intervals so you know if you're taking in again these genetically modified foods if you are going and getting a script from the DR for every little thing. Uh, all this adds up, and what it's doing is it's shortening lifespans, and it really is affecting the consciousness of the masses. It's been going on for a very long time. This is why people just don't see things, because they really are in a, a fog caused by all these, a lot of it's prescription drugs, and then the, the rest is illegal drugs. Whether it's illegal or legal, it affects your consciousness, it lowers your frequency, and thus it, it makes you food for demonic entities and also able to be controlled by demonic entities. So th this is the big reveal here of how life is in the Kali Yuga. So we absolutely um, always try to uh, detox as much as you can. Uh, don't eat non-organic foods, only organic foods, as organic as possible. Yeah, there probably is no such thing as organic. But if you're taking in stuff that's loaded with uh, pesticides, genetically modified, that's only going to speed us down, you know, the, the negative spiral. And humanity would be spiraling up and out of all this if it wasn't for the system. The system is what does this to us purposely as rockefeller said i don't want an educated people you know educated masses to what's truly going on education yeah you know again there's pseudoscience which is bought and paid for again by the system to give you the results that the system wants no they they don't want people really understanding the bigger picture they don't want people uh, with clear minds we just want people to you know be good slaves is really an admission that was given to us by a rockefeller so when we see what's going on with the quakes right here um yes there is one up here over in new hampshire 2.2 so that's small 4.5 kilometers deep i found this interesting uh these are over as you can see, um, above Mystic. This is an area I know pretty well. Yeah, that one's technically in Mystic. Mystic and Ledyard. Very close to um, the Naval Shipyard, which is over here in, in Groton, the New London area. Um, it, it's curious. I, I, I don't know if it has something to do with an underground military base there, um, five kilometers deep, 
2.3 kilometers, 0.8 kilometers. These are shallow and uh, they're curious. Let's see if there was any more in that area. No, just these in the last 30 days. Um, suspicious. It, it's very suspicious to me. I wonder what's going on there. Are they, you know, <laughs> blasting out and, and creating uh, a new section to the underground military basin area? You know, I'm not picking up anything, but I am picking up that they are man-made. That's, that's about it. Yeah, and that's that's just interesting. I find that very, very interesting. We've had some interesting and curious quakes, and I do expect there will be a lot more. What you do find, too, because I've pointed out the ones in, in South Carolina, right by Fort Jackson, um, which there's none here at the moment, but when we go 30 days, all magnitudes, you'll find some. And here's Fort Jackson again. A little bit of ways, probably about the same amount of miles away as uh, what those other ones were. 2.2, 2.9, 2 2.9, 2 2.9. Somebody's building something underground. I think that's the case. There's somebody doing something underground there. And then if you go and we take a look over in the Ridgecrest area, um, there's always a lot of activity over there. Of course, California is always getting quakes. Um, but there's also a very, very interesting military base over here because there's also legends going back from uh, like 1880s, 1870s of uh, people that were looking for gold and stuff and stumbling on entrances into the inner earth and finding like Egyptian artifacts and giant bodies. See, if we do 30 days in this area, what do we end up having? A lot. Yes, there's, there's all sorts. Of course, you know, we also had the seven point something over there when we were really close too. We really felt it when that one hit. But you can see here in the map area, 160 quakes. Um, there's a lot that goes on under the ground in here. Uh, there's bases over here that absolutely, uh, you have humans working with greys, working with reptilians. It's a busy place. And this is just a really cute guy trying to figure things out in the world and just being adorable all the way through it. He's like, how do I get into the upside down world and go play with my buddy over there? You don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As always, guys, look forward to your comments. Thanks for your support. Stay safe and prepped out there. Source blessed. Namaste. Namaste.